What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I have another WWE action figure setup. <laughs> So if you guys saw my video from a few days ago, we did a WWE Action Figure Setup Attitude Era Edition. So this time, I got a lot of requests to do a Ruthless Aggression Edition. So that is what I have set up for you guys. Got a lot of superstars here in the backstage and stuff. Let me know down in the comment section below if you would like me to take it to the ring in the next few setups. You know, do the either do the full arena or just do, you know, around the ring. And then uh, we'll flip back, back and forth between the backstage and the arena. But let's go ahead and take you guys through this ruthless aggression style WWE figure setup. So just like the Attitude Era setup guys, we got two cool dancing right here. Not doing the same moves, but they are here in the Ruthless Aggression era. You know, they did continue on. They did manage to win some tag titles during this era, so I knew I had to throw too cool in there. I am so happy to have Rikishi and Scotty Tuhati in my collection. We go over here, and we got the Beast Incarnate. We got Brock Lesnar right here. And if you see him, he's just chilling right here, and he's eyeballing. He's eyeballing the WWE Champion, the WWE Championship Kurt Angle right here in the middle with his hoodie on, you know, knowing he's running the place right now, you know, he, he pretty much was the top dog at this time. 2003 is around the timeline for this. September 2003 is around what I'm thinking right here. Over here, we have the Los Guerreros, the SmackDown the Tag Team Champions, or the WWE Tag Team Champions at that time is what it was called. And Eddie Guerrero and Chavo Guerrero talking to Chris Benoit, their best friends right there. All three of these guys were so close. Right here, we have Eddie Guerrero rocking the United States Championship. Championship as well because he was the WWE Tag Team and US Champion at this time period. On the other side, however, we have Evolution. We got Randy Orton, Batista, and Triple H. Obviously, Batista did not look like that during that time, but uh, you know this is the closest thing we have from Mattel so far in elite form. But uh, Randy Orton is accurate to 03. Triple H is accurate to 03. And what they're talking about here is they're talking about what they can do to get the big gold strap back from Bill Goldberg over there coming out of the locker room. So that is what they're talking about. Triple H has got his sledgehammer. You know what's about to go down. We're missing Ric Flair. Maybe he's taking a piss or something like that. So, you know, Ric Flair's not around. But uh, we got the rest of Evolution right here. Down the middle of the hallway right here, we have the Dudley Boys with their World Tag Team Championships, the Raw branded tag titles at that time in 2003. You know what they do. They're carrying their table down the hallway, getting ready for their tables match later on tonight here. Uh, I guess we could call this a dual branded pay-per-view since we got Raw and SmackDown both in the same house. Over here, you'll see the Cruiserweight Champion, Rey Mysterio, talking to John Cena. But John Cena has given him, you know, his new rap that he came up with. So that's what he's doing over here. Got his Word Life gear all on. Got the hat on and everything. You know, he's busting a rap for Ray. And Ray, you know, he's a good dude. He's just sitting there listening to him. Got the got the Cruiserweight title around his waist. Over here on the wall, we got Chris Jericho. And he is just hanging out. You know, he, he doesn't really know exactly what he's doing. But he's eyeballing at this time. Um, he It looks like he sort of has his eyes on the Hardys over there. Not sure what that's about. But behind him, we have Bill Goldberg coming through the locker room with his big gold title. You know, he is the World Heavyweight Champion at this time, late 2003. So he's coming out of the locker room getting ready to go do some business. Just beyond him, we have Matt and Jeff Hardy talking it up because, you know, they're not on the same brand right now. They're on separate brands at this time in 2003. Matt Hardy was on SmackDown and Jeff Hardy was on Raw. So they're catching up right here. Got V1 Matt Hardy. And over here we have The Undertaker right here going to get his bike so he can go out to the ring for his match tonight. Probably with a job or something like that. I don't really know. But yeah, he's, he's about to walk through the curtain, go out to the parking lot, get to his bike so he can make his entrance down to the ramp. And to finish off this setup, guys, in the back there, you will see the Intercontinental Champion RVD, and he is meditating on his chairs. Um, if you know anything about RVD, he's real flexible. He's real big on yoga and meditation and stuff like that. So this is, this is what he used to do. He used to, you know, like uh, stretch and stuff in the backstage area. You know, he used to have the two chairs and he would spread out wide and, you know, get his flexible stuff in there. So that is what he's doing back there. But that pretty much does it for the entire WWE figure setup, Ruthless Aggression Era. Let me know down in the comment section below what you thought of the setup, what you think I could have done differently, what you would have added. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure related videos. Give me suggestions for new WWE figure setups in the comment section, guys, and I will take a look, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.